of another week. Another good week, man, of just kicking butt, taking names, being a light in the darkness, being the hero that the world needs, slaying some evil, hunting monsters, doing crazy cool mystery occult supernatural things. Ah! All those words sounded cool, didn't they? Man, we do cool really good right here on the Scotty Blade Show. Welcome to Boomtown. Come on inside, folks. Plenty of places to sit. We got a fresh cup of hero fuel as we start the week off here with scares and smiles. My cup blends in with my green screen. Welcome to Horror Games Live, everybody. Hope that you guys had a good weekend. I hope that your favorite football team lost because I know mine did. <laughs> uh, and I hope you guys are excited for a long week of fun content and, and uh, fun fun times here on the Scotty Blade Show. Lots of content to pump out. And by the way, holy moly. Yeah, yeah, no spoilers. No, nobody spoil uh, The Last of Us, of course. That goes without saying. But uh, how, I mean, if you've played the game, you know what's going to happen in the TV series. But if you haven't played the game, then you don't know what's going to happen on the TV series. So, yeah. So there's that. Three scary horror games on the broadcast for today. They're all high-definition graphics, just the way that you like them. They're all the most cutting edge of technology when it comes to monster hunting and evil slaying and supernatural investigations. That's what we do here. We bring you guys the cutting edge of production. That's what we do here. If you're in the audience, say hi. Leave your mark on the broadcast. Let us know you love us. Share this fancy show. Be somebody else's hero. Somebody else out there needs a laugh and a smile. You may be the person to deliver it. I mean, I'll, I'll be ultimately the... We'll be the one-two punch. You get the good word out there, then I'll punch him in the face. With comedy. <laughs> With comedy. With comedy. Stars and Super Chats, of course. They do keep the channel up and running and subscribing because we are coming at you live on both Facebook and YouTube. Am I late? No, the show literally just started. We're coming at you. <laughs> coming at you live on both Facebook and YouTube, whatever channel you like to take in your entertainment on. We're here for you. You guys have that power. You have that choice. Check us out. That's an AI generated um, Zeke the Plumber. So I'm facing my fears on this show every day. I'm scared to death of Zeke the Plumber. Look at them plumbing teeth. Look at them plumbing teeth. I'm scared to death. So I, uh, I face it. You still can't find the Facebook one. Well, that's why we have so many different platforms to watch this show on because Facebook eventually will stop notifying everybody. So YouTube and Discord go a long way in keeping you guys up to speed. The first game, oh, there's Zeke the Plumber. See? Man, it's all about facing your fears. Everywhere I turn, Zeke the Plumber's right there waiting for me. You gotta face those fears. Get, get out of here, uh, your name, Zeke the Plumber. We have played this game uh, two weeks ago, and it's called Mannequin at Hessler Storage, but the game was really scary, really fun, really well made, and the developer reached out to me and said that they have upgraded the game there's a bunch of new scares. There's a couple of more endings. Um, so I'm really excited to dive back into this world again and facing off against yet another one of my fears. Mannequins. Can't stand them. Don't know how they move. Is it demon possession? Is it spirits? Is it Pinocchio from the grave? I don't know. And then after that, we've got a couple more horror games. And if you guys have any questions about what horror games that we're playing or, or what they're about, there is literally a paragraph in the description of the video you're watching to explain what's going on. Why didn't I think about that before? Did you know the actors that play Ellie and Joel were also both in Game of Thrones? I did, Jacob. As a huge fan of Game of Thrones, I did know that. And thank you for sharing some knowledge with us. Hello, Emma Bregger. Hello, Tim Harrod. Marcelo McKenzie. Carl Murray. Thad Boatwright. Hello, Jolene George. Got a big old bowl of cream, and I am hydrated for today's adventures. Hell yeah! <laughs> I've never recommended cream before taking an axe and hitting a zombie in the face, but as long as we're making the zombies cream, cream may be the secret juice that we need in our lives. Hello, Misty. Hello, uh, Jacob. Hello, Alan. Hello, Robin France. Hello, Jaden Thomas, Alex Miller, William J. Madison Barnes, Mark Carpenter Davis, Morgan, Kyle, Simtex. Looking slick. Thank you, Helen. I appreciate that. Hello, Gianna. 
Hello, Hildy. Hello, Jolene France. Welcome to Boomtown, everybody. Hello, Catherine Estrito. <laughs> Puberty's hitting me hard this morning. And hello, Catherine Holmquist. Okay, let's get into this game. Hello, Betty Justice. I survived sweet, sweet zombie slime. Okay, this game's a little bit loud in my ears. Yeah, no wonder. I've got it all up to 69. <laughs> Am I the only one who didn't watch The Last of Us? Yes. Yes, you were. How does it feel to be an outsider like me? High five. High five to be an outsider. Of course, no spoilers. Uh, in my personal opinion, The Last of Us was a masterpiece. At least episode one was a masterpiece. Again, without spoiling anything, they stay very close to the game script. I thought Pedro Pascal absolutely was born to play Joel. I still think I should have been Joel. Look at me. Tess. Ellie. I should have been Joel. But uh, I'm too busy doing the Scotty Blade show. My agent reached out to their agents. Whatever. I could have been Joel. I should have been Joel. Uh, I'm still on the fence about Ellie. I don't know how I feel about the actress that's playing Ellie. She's a great actress. Uh, it's just hard to place Ellie's mannerisms to this actress for me. But as far as the show goes, so far so good. It's a masterpiece. I love it. Cat Holmquist, Troy Cardenas, Lucy Rios, Penny Thomas, Misbehaving, Whitney Bands are all here, and they like our show, and they're ready for some scares and smiles. Oh, boy. Zach Buck, Betty Justice, and Paul Sotelo. Let's get into this game. We did play this game a couple weeks ago. There's a brand new update. More scares, more smiles. Jensen Ankles should have been Joel. I did not say that. Welcome to the Alpha Demo. There's some things you should know. This demo has four endings. You may or may not experience all of these scares. The game decides. I don't need anybody hating on. I like Pedro Pascal. I've loved everything he's ever done. Really. Honestly, I've loved everything he's ever done. The video game. But I still think I've been a better Joel. I'll fight Pedro for the role of Joel. Pedro, or if you're watching the show... I'll fight you for the right to play Joel. And I love you. I think you're a great actor. Here we go. What am I sipping on? Coffee. Uh, Alex Liberty, Shane Elwood, welcome to the show. Sorry to call you on the mobile directly, but I've been told this is urgent by people at head office. Uh, my name is Frank Elwood. I run a construction company, and we've been tasked with doing up the Hesca storage building in Fleet Street. Uh, we need you to come in and look at a weird symbol on one of the walls behind the brickwork. I'm 36, Lucy. So, it, you didn't really... Jesus, Jones, there was a jump scare in the freaking title menu. That wasn't there last time. You can't tell because uh, movie production magic and my whole like makeup team comes in here and just makes me look really fancy, but I've got a bunch of grays. I have got a bunch of grays. Uh, I got as many grays as Joel Pedro does in the future segments or the current setting or whatever, however you want to put it. Oh, in God, you Levios. Oh, somebody's out there kicking butt. Keeping the light on. Hey, Aaron with the first stars of the show and it's quite the heroic performance of star power so that from one hero to another i raise my axe for you sir i raise my axe for you thank you so very much aaron for the one thousand stars thank you very much for supporting my show and thank you very much for being my hero aaron with the one thousand you can't watch you'll get wind at jamie can you just take the phone and put it down and have it in your earbuds It's from the teenager. My, I have a new beef with Pedro Pascal. If I can meet Pedro, then I'll start a fake internet beef so I can meet Pedro. Thank you very much, Tim Harad, Mr. Kyle, Jimmy. The key for the sliding door should be on the table. And the door just to the right of it. This guy's going to die. He's Sean Bean. You, the greys make you look like a wizard? Well, movie magic can't do a good job of keeping those out of the frame. But, man, I got like, so many greys. 
you can't see it when I wet my hair, but like those, those days I come into the show and you guys say I look like I just got out of bed from having sex, then uh, you can definitely see the grays in there. I think when I water it down and put gel in it, it makes the grays turn to black. Hello, Steven. So to set up what's going on in this game, there is a construction company that is digging out and renovating this storage facility, and they found something occult while they were down here digging out. Hello, Ahmad. So they have called in an occult investigator, Scotty Blades, i.e. the professor that's here, to investigate to see if the occult item here is something that's going to cause a problem. Should they work around it? Should they just back off and leave this alone? Or if they can continue to work. So that's my job here as the character in the game, is to investigate these occult symbols and signs that they have found in the basement. There's a Cree. Happy Motivated Monday. Glad I actually to be here. Hey, man. Who all's got today off because of Martin Luther King Jr. Day? What did I say yesterday? Martin Boother. I said Martin. I said something about birthday, but I didn't mean to. Use the right click button to unlock with the key. Go get him, Professor. Much love. Oh, looks like their innovation team are progressing well up here. I mean, Frank said it was on the lower ground floor. I wonder if there's an elevator I can use. You didn't get today off, you're working? That blows. At least you still get to be here with me, Kyle. You know what doesn't blow? My girlfriend. <laughs> I'm kidding, that's just a joke. But it's a funny joke. Hello, Whitney. You got the day off? Nice. Hard hat, power drill. Another hard hat. Well, the wife had today off for MLK. I have today off because I always have Mondays off. Then what do you guys want to do today, Scott? Hang out and get some scares and smiles in Boomtown? You guys want to high five? To... Huh? huh? Out of order. Looks like I'm taking the stairs. Did I see the new statue they put up? Uh-uh. I don't watch the news, and uh, I normally don't know what day it is, but I just happen to watch sports news today because of all the playoff games, and I knew that it was Martin Luther King Day. Otherwise, I would never know what holiday it is. I wouldn't know what... The day, I wouldn't know nothing. Somebody should take a look at that light. Is it just you? Is this already creepy? Tim, I mentioned earlier when the show started, this is one of the scariest games we've played already this year. We played it a couple weeks ago, right at the end of December. So technically, this is the first time I'm playing this game this year. This game's got some intense jump scares. It's got some very scary occult stuff. It's really good, but the developer of the game has added a couple of new jump scares to it. Oh, there we go. Hello, Luna. I'm a girl, it's Skirty Blair. <laughs> Christy Blanton, Norma Jean, Joe Griner, Erica Ledwasa, Heather Dixon, Luna Brent, and David Tilapia Fish. Welcome to the Scotty Blade Show, and thank you all for liking my show. Hello, Heather Dixon. All right. This looks like every basement in a storage facility. Have I played September the 7th? Yeah, Jolene, I played it a week ago. Very scary. I must have gone the wrong way. I must have gone the wrong way. I'm Sean Ben. And, of course, being Sean Ben means that we're not going to survive this adventure. Close the door, you heathen. I am from the Appalachians. I will. I'm the kind of guy that'll hold a door open for a lady. Why is the audio in the game so low? It's loud in my ears, but it's really low on the mixer. Why didn't you guys tell me the audio was so low? Huh? Close the door. <laughs> A little late on the sound effects there. Pedro Pascal is 47 years old. Nobody asked, but uh, Thad, good to, good to see you found the Facebook stream. I'm the kind of guy that pushes in a lady's chair... If there's a puddle outside, I'll lay down my leather jacket so that she can step on it. <laughs> 10 out of 10, best accent. One does not simply just walk into Mordor. Put another shrimp on the barley. Gimli, come here, you little hobbit. Give me that ring. I need it. I'm Sean Bean. I gotta go back to Gondor and give my dad the key, which I meant to say ring, so that he can take over the world and defend us from more from Saren, Sauron. 
one does not simply. Kyle bringing his own scares to the show and scene. <laughs> I did the best Sean Bean impression you've ever seen before. Who got hit by... He uses a blue snowball. Oh, no. I have actually upgraded uh, mics. I don't use blue snowball anymore. I have upgraded mics. I'm sorry. I missed that. Yeah, I am using a new microphone. I've got uh, a Razer something. I don't remember what it is. Who cares? But it's not the blue snowball anymore. I am revving up to start doing a podcast. We're working on doing a podcast behind the scenes. And uh, I got a new microphone so that I could have better audio quality. The, the blue snowball's fine, don't get me wrong. This is one of those PT-inspired games where the stuff doesn't do things unless you walk around and do stuff. Razor makes some really nice mics. Yeah, I tried this out for a couple of days. This one's got way more feedback on it than uh, the blue s snowball does. You can't beat Yeti products. Yeti products are great. But that big, giant, white, snowball-looking thing on the screen is a lot less appealing and appetizing than uh, the slick black tactical microphone. Everything looks better in black when it's tactical black, baby. And can we just uh, throw some Eagles of Justice up in the... Where? Happy Manic Monday, Christina. Can I please progress the game now, Demo? What the hell? You have to hold the door so you can look at the butt. It's the Bible. <laughs> I don't know. That's not how I do it. Do we get some Eagles of Justice in the chat for Frederick? What the hell? Maybe I'm supposed to turn off the... The lighter? No cameroid and equipment. Huh. There's supposed to be a door that populates back there in the back corner. Thank you very much, Frederick, for once again joining your fellow heroes. Hmm. In the Halls of Justice, and welcome back to the Table of Blades. And thank you very much, Frederick, for supporting the Scotty Blade Show by being a producer. We very much, very much appreciate that. Wonder why it's not populating the door like it should. <laughs> it's supposed to poop a door back here. You stupid door pooper! I'm gonna have to reload the game. Close the door. Turn off the light. Walk into the darkness. Not see anything. Nothing happens. Hello, Amanda. I'm sorry to hear that. All I can do is just try to be the brightest light that I can possibly be for you. Hopefully I can make you laugh and smile and be some kind of positive influence or distraction in your life. That's all I can do. I'm sorry to hear that. Hello, Amanda. I don't know what to do. Oh, find a way to the lower ground floor. I'm here. I'll try shutting the door again. Mm -hmm. Ashley, Michael, Toronto, Christina Sears, Anthony Thompson, and Heinrich Carlson. Thanks for liking my show. Mm. Last time the developer was in the chat, I could have just asked him why this isn't working. Good times. Good times. Well, if you missed the beginning of the show, then you get to watch the cutscene that leads us into this because it didn't work. Moving to desktop. We have played this demo before. I know it works. They've updated it with a bunch of stuff to make the game better, so I know it runs better than it did last time. If it's an old lady or a dude carrying something heavy, otherwise it's to see some buns. I'm a gentleman. I will, I will ruin a leather. It's my southern charm. I was raised to be a gentleman. So if I see a lady, I'm going to give her Sorry, call, my jacket. Call, 
Sound really good. Good. Come in and look at a weird symbol on one of the walls behind the brickwork. Head office don't want to damage a potential national heritage site. So we need to know if there's any significance or if we can carry on renovating. Problem is, there's four floors including the ground floor. And they don't go up. It's a strange building to begin with, which doesn't seem to make much sense. But whoever stores stuff here last left a bunch of mannequins about. annoying good lord the colonel's in the house hello jennifer all right coral scars with the first super chat on the youtube in the first Steven Seagal dad joke of the day. We're going to put a stop in the scares for a second for some smiles from Steven Seagal, my little partner. Hey, Steven Seagal. The people want to hear a joke. Get your tomatoes ready. Steven Seagal, let it rip. Hi, everybody. It's me, Steven Seagal, and I've got something to say. <laughs> How do skeletons know what is about to happen? They can feel it in their bones. What is a skeleton's favorite I'm drink? You to the bank. Hey, I'm hello. The bank. What is a skeleton's hello favorite drink? Blade. Hello. <laughs> what is a skeleton's favorite drink? A full-bodied wine. And this one's for uh, Champagne Mercy. Champagne, thank you for the 500 stars. Here you go, Champagne. Why do people think that the jack-o'-lantern had a crush on the girl who carved him? Everyone could see he held a candle for her. <laughs> God. Those are pretty good. Those weren't bad. Th thank you, Steven Seagal. Everybody, round of applause for Steven Seagal. Steven with his dad jokes. Stopping the scares for a little bit for some smiles. Thank you, Steven. Your community service is still intact. Whoops. I don't know why I'm disappearing. Mr. Elwood said the key for the sliding door should be on the table. And the door just to the right of it. A da da bud and a chatter and a flip it dap boot day. And a boot a day to titty tap. Open the door, you moron! Sean Bean, no wonder you keep dying in your oh, movies, you're an idiot! Looks like the renovation team are progressing well up here. Mm -hmm. Frank said it was on the lower ground floor. I wonder if there's an elevator I can use. Just watch The Last of Us on HBO Max. Highly recommend. You know what sucks about... The only thing that sucks about The Last of Us is most of the time... Not always, but most of the time, whenever they put out one of these shows... An elevator. <laughs> out of order. Out of order. When they Looks put out like one of these I'm shows... The stairs. They normally put out the entire season for you so that you can... You know, the classic Netflix Somebody binge. should take a look at that light. Oh, somebody should take a look at that light. It's a flippity floop floop. Use the mill wheel mouse button to use the lighter. All right, hopefully this time we can make the thing happen. I must have gone the wrong way. I must have gone the wrong way. I go back this way. The game says to close the door. I close the door. The door is closed. The game heard the door close. Yes, we did it. Okay. There before. We have made progress. Progress paddles. You can't tell me what to do. Wow. Sean the Flicker Bean. Do you know he doesn't make movies where his character dies because he has died in most movies he ever made? That's what he's. In. That's what he's famous for. If you've got a brand, stick with it. Sean Bean's known for getting took out in all of his movies. Those are not pretty good. Can't please everybody, Ted. We're sorry, buddy. But there's a glory hole. That might please you. Yes, nice. Soda pop. Let's close this door for not getting killed. A Trey Ulender. 
Who to do? A Trey Ulinder, Chris Hartzler, Jesse Otero, thanks for liking and sharing my show. Izzy Velez, welcome, and thanks for liking and sharing the show. Coral Scars, thank you so much for the $5 super chat. And Champagne Mercy, thank you for the 500 stars. Thank you all for supporting my broadcast so we can keep bringing on this crazy monster mystery and mayhem show that we call the Scotty Blade Show. All right. Steve, I guess that's me. There's a maintenance room on every floor, but I'm not all the lights work. If you can have a look, I'd be grateful. We're all sick of working underground without decent light. Yeah, that would suck. That, and I think Paul will lose his head if he keeps having to go in the dark anymore. Honestly, he says he's not scared of the dark, but he keeps saying something's moving, and someone keeps moving the mannequins. When I find out who it is, I'll give them a bloody mouthful. Ooh. Anyway. You might have to check all the rooms to see if they have lights installed and working. Alright, that's different from last time. So now we have to go check every room to see if the lights are working. Professor Shaw. Oh, I'm not Steve. I'm Professor Shaw. I don't know who the hell I am. That's y'all's fault. Scotty, you're... Scotty, you look like that guy that sells cocaine. Billy Mays? Yeah, that's the one. Professor Shaw, I left a torch on the table for you to find your way around. The symbol is on this floor. Take the first left, ignore the flickering light, then take the first right, go straight, then right. Follow the corridor all the way, then take a right. Good luck. Or basically, it just says follow the arrows. That was simple. Why didn't you say There's no that? There's torch here. Bloody useless. There's no torch here. It's bloody useless. Hello, Brian. Okay, so there's no torch here. Here's the map. Uh, he said take a right, straight, right. right. I best turn these bloody lights on then, aren't I? Right. Right. Did you do? Evening, Scotty and League. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. Right. Did you do? Right. Flippity switch. Nothing's crazy happened yet. All good. All bad. All real bad news bears. I don't like mannequins. No, sir, I don't. It's a bit dark in here. Good job I've got my lighter. Good job. A good job I got my lower. Hey, good job there. A good job I got my lower. Looks electric. My Would have been useful though, but I don't see a cable around. All right, so the the developers added a lot of stuff. Now this guy talks a whole bunch more than he did before. Remove. Nice, nice. It's just a concrete wall. Nice. You got me. Good job. Brian Steinmuller, Brittany Wrangle, thanks for liking my show. Thank, uh, welcome, Brian. I saw you jump in. And Paul McGinnis, good job. Good job. Good job for what you did, good job. Paul McGinnis has stood up in the audience, opened the Necronomicon. Uh, how did he get it? I don't know. We should really bump up the security here in Blades HQ. But he stood up in the audience, opened the Necronomicon. That glory holes are pretty nice. And as read from the Book of the Dead, now some kind of magical mystery and mayhem will happen here on the show. Thank you very much, Paul. Was there always four? Where'd this fourth guy come from? Bring your 2000 lumen flashlight? Yeah, no kidding. We had a rule, personal copy. We had a rule on the tactical teams. Stop moving the fudge and mannequins. Someone doesn't like pranks. Nobody tells Scotty Blades what to do. If I want to move the ding-dang mannequins, I will. Again, why didn't y'all tell me the game was so loud? Whoop. Resume game. Da -da. Ding, dang, dangles. Can't open. Thought you wanted to follow the arrows. Oh, you know me. I like to go where my heart leads me. Which is in every direction that's not the right direction. The game is loud. Thanks. It's Hello? 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 Stupid gravity! Nice try. But you lose again. I win. Hey, Pixie. You lose. I'm undefeated against gravity. I sure hope I don't walk outside and like a meteor hits me or something. Gravity's like, take that! That's 
fine. Never do a mannequin to be self-conscious. Did you see the mannequin was standing there holding its, <laughs> holding, holding it, holding its booties? <laughs> That's like walking in on your mom when she's taking a shower. I've never done that. Seriously, I knew as soon as I made that joke, you guys be like, Oh, Scotty, why are you walking in on your mom taking a shower? I've never done that. It's a joke. But I knew immediately you all would be like, Ah! So I had to clarify. Hello? Well, I couldn't get through here earlier. Help! 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 <laughs> what the? Help! Oh, shit! Frickin' witches! Aaron John Toby, Demir Perry, Pixie Lee, and Keith Chacon. Thanks for liking my show. Most jokes come from personal experience. Pixie, how many zombies do you think that I've actually fought in my real life? This freaking game's bananas. Maybe it was cold. <laughs> Maybe it was cold in there. Well, there's a mannequin bent over at the end of the hallway. I'm just going to leave that guy alone. Because my biggest problem that I'm having right now is that there are witches. Temperature maintenance room. There are witches about. Quickly check the book of blades. How do you take out a witch? Now I know back in the 1600s it was to just tie them to a pole and burn them. But most of those women and men, there were men that were burned for witches. Most of those witches weren't actually witches. They were just if you sneezed and said kazoo tight, they thought you were casting a spell. Be careful what you say. <laughs> so how do you take out witches? You got to throw water on them? Oh. The possibility is high, high. Getting motivated on a Monday. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's pass out some vitamins. Throw some water on them. Well, if that actually works, Crimson, I've got a bottle of holy water right here. I'm ready. Piss on them. That, I mean, that's technically water, I guess. You know what really pisses me off about this game? That all these mannequins... Bless his heart. He had to die in such a manner that he was comfortable. Ah, ah, oh, ah, 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 <laughs> Paul Coffin, thanks for liking my show. Jennifer for passing out some uh, vitamins. Thanks for the 250 stars. AJ Hobbs and Jennifer Rakarski. Derek J. Smith, thanks for liking the show. I'm glad the guy got to die in comfort. Tabitha, welcome. Daniel Wazniak, welcome. People ignore the fact that men were killed as witches. I just said that. Stop ignoring them, Scotty! I didn't ignore them. Stop fucking moving the mannequins.
he was probably a member of the League of Blades. Flip him over, put sunglasses on him, delete his internet browser. What a hero. All right, see you, Scott. Sorry we ran you off, buddy. Matt Pace, T. Johnny, Badidi, Miles, Parker, Garrett Faulkner, Breezy Kate, Simon, uh, whittle your bone with a crow. Welcome to my show. This guy here is just going to be a real big problem. I can just feel it. It's going to be a real big problem. You can't do. You can't play a game and watch the show, Scott. I gotta hook you up. You can play a game and watch the show. It's the best part about watching the show. You can watch it. <laughs> you can put us up on your TV or the background or in your tablet. You can watch us on YouTube while you play. You can do all sorts of things. Scott, no. We have the same name. I'll whittle your bone with a crow. <laughs> all right, I'm looking down. Down, question mark? Down? I'm looking down. Down, maybe? We're going down? This game sucks. Alright, mannequin. Uh, do your best move, because... Here I go. Booga booga booga! <laughs> Oh, no more HD mind monitors? I got you. Mad writings. I can't wait to read this. Seems to me like he's written by someone who's lost their mind. Let's see what it looks like to peer inside the brain of a lunatic. <laughs> Because you watch the Scotty Blade show every day. I'm a lunatic. Says here. On they march through hell. The terror they shall face. For which of these five shall he be? The Red King sits on his throne. <laughs> yeah. That last part uh, threw me for a loop. He wanted a hug. I'd have hugged him if he hadn't tried to kill me. The Red King. You happy till the Red King part. All right. Uh, hello, Mickey. Nothing in there, nothing in there. A lot of folks saying, Sugar, we're going down swinging. Scotty's lost, but he's talking to himself. Yeah, kind of like what was said earlier. I'm basically talking to myself a bunch anyway. These guys here have learned how to get themselves blowjobs. They'll never leave this closet. Good luck, fellas. At least you ain't holding hands like a couple of... <laughs> you know what's weirder than giving yourself a blowjob? Holding hands while you do it. Is so this is the damned? Yeah, it's a picture. The number eight, and uh, it's a picture of hell, which is purely just speculative imagination. We have no idea what hell looks like, but that's what they think it is, and it looks pretty bad. Doctor Scotty and Mister Blitz, Whiskey Tony Foxtrot is playing Redev's Redemption. Don't know why that pops up on my screen, but there, in case you guys want to know what he's up to. You have to do it back to back like a real man. <laughs> ah, I see you hiding over there. You have to do it back to back like a real man. Why do they have muscles? That's kind of what set me off, Emma, was the fact that these guys are more yoked than me. Can't stand seeing anything bigger than me. That's why I always like to say I have the biggest wiener in the room, because I'm the only person in here. <laughs> I have the biggest wiener here. Well, Scotty, you're the only person here. Shut up. I know what world I'm living in. Why does this keep saying down? Whatever. The current objective is find a way to the lower ground still, so... That's moved now. That's still there. 
God, I can't stand competition. Oh, man, competition's really good for you. As long as I'm winning. You know, they say if you're going to train, train against people who are stronger than you so that makes you stronger. Nah. I like to be undefeated. So I train against people that can't... Guess who? Mom? Come on. Don't Rachel? be silly. Guess who? Jennifer? It's not possible. You're not her. Why would we say my name? Uh, Don't understand why you won't say my name. You know my name. Mother Mary? Say it. Get off me. Say my fucking name, Tobias. My name's Steve. A little, uh, a little aggressive. I enjoy beating the. <laughs> Mr. President, yes, that's me, Scotty Blades. Could you please explain a quote that was quoted by Daniel O'Reilly in 2023 that said, and I quote, I enjoy beating up weak people. Scotty Blaze 2023. Well, you see, it's the League of Blades. You should never listen to a word that they say because it's always wrong. What's the weather like in your neck of the woods? <laughs> Boobs, 69, 69. <laughs> Give me more troll power! Troll power! <laughs> the code is boobs. <laughs> the weather is queefy. That don't make any sense. This is coming from the guy who listens to us to... Tell you where to go in games. <laughs> right click to unlock if you have the key. Do I have the key? I wonder what's in this room. I don't know. Key two doesn't fit. Alright. Mike Ratliff, Chris's will be done. William Cantrell, thanks for liking my show. Hey Eric. What is that noise? I really need a flashlight here. Ooh, this room's haunted. Afternoon, Andrea. This room's haunted. And now I can't get in. Oh, never mind. I was too. Is this a full game? No. Uh, the developer messaged me and said that he's added a bunch of new things to the game. Another ending. A bunch of new jump scares. We've actually already seen one of the new jump scares. I got double teamed by a couple of witches, which was pretty cool. Pretty cool. So uh, he wanted me to try out the new demo. Pretty cool. Nah, fuck this. Ah, fuck this. Each one of these guys' faces. <laughs> Elevendy. He's added new dialogue. He's added a lot. Just like that female cop in the news getting gang banged by her department. I, again, I don't read the news. I don't watch the news. It's always bad news. But all I have seen is memes of this, <laughs> this female cop. And it's all like getting triple, double team stuff. I'm like, did she come out and say it on a, did she get like reprimanded for it or something? I don't want to know. I don't care. That's fine. I don't, I don't want to know. I don't care. You don't have to tell me. I don't care. <laughs> I think Moto Moto likes you. Moto Moto. Alec Rios. Thanks for the 10 stars. Thanks for supporting the show. James Riley, Alec Rios, Mike Ratliff. Thanks for leaving a like. 
Ah, fuck, this was anticlimactic. Yeah, but like Jennifer said, I say that to myself about 40 times a day. Ah. You know how you're wiping your doo-doo butt? And like on the fifth wipe, there's still doo-doo on the toilet paper? So you're like, screw this, man. I've wiped five times. What's six and seven going to do? You just give up. Ah, eh, whatever. I've wiped five times. If I can't have a clean dookie butt after five swipes, I'm just going to go to bed. Gaze upon thine image. Those that can behold upon themselves shall beast to reward. But thou shalt invite mine intent. Okay, I don't read Freaky Dicky Dutch, but I'll pick up this checker piece. Candle is dead. Well, I've got a lighter, stupid. I've got a lighter, light it. Poop, then shower. You need to get baby wipes? I am not touching my freaking butt with baby wipes. I'm not a baby. Baby wipes are for babies. Poop your pants. <laughs> you poop your pants. I have a lighter. Light the stupid can. Oh, I need to get another candle. That's right. Should I suggest a bidet? No, I voted for Trump. <laughs> I didn't vote for Biden. Bidet, he, he raised the gas prices. <laughs> nobody squirts on me and nobody puts baby wipes on me. So no bidet, no. If I can't get it done with some good old-fashioned American double ply, then I'm going to bed. Good old fashioned American double ply. Where is room number two? Hey man, do you know where room number two is? You look like you're the guy that knows things. Could you imagine Scotty stomping his poop down the drain? You're going to get in there and you're going to like it. And you're going down the drain. Because I ain't calling no freaking plumber. I don't think this was just a storage site. I don't think it would be just a it. Let's read this note in his voice. 16 June 1987. Things simply cannot continue on the current trajectory. What we must thought might have is far beyond our grasp, and Dr. Hessler has laid out the measures necessary to contain the threat. I had warned him on many occasions that this would not be sustainable. Eventually, he grasped. Gaze upon me and grasp. He grasped what we lack the understanding to control it. Though I fear it's now too late. It is imperative that none of the measures are disturbed. Should anyone enter the lower levels, God save them. You Benedict. You Benedict. Scotty, uh, let's see. Sounds a bit like Forrest Gump. My, my accent does. You can afford. You can afford two ply American TP. Yeah, they call me bougie around here. Did you say nobody squirts on you? Uh... Yeah, I may have said that in haste, because I don't completely mean that. It's all about context. It's okay to get tag teamed by witches, but not a bidet. <laughs> ah! <laughs> get, squirted, get squirted in every direction. Ah! All right, good luck, buddy. Hope you make it. Stupid bidet. The real horror. Uh, generator room. What am I supposed to be doing? Stupid game. Right click to unlock with the key. Right click. Right click. Come in. I can't get in. Force. <laughs> Today's Scotty Blade show is hosted by Forrest Dump. If I can't get my pantaloons clean after five wipes with some good old-fashioned American double ply, well, I guess I'll just go on home to Jenna. Jenna, I got doo-doo on my butt. I'm gonna fly, fly far away from here, Forrest Dump. Don't you do it, Jenna. I'll go join the army if you do. Okay. Observation eight, fourth of May, 1987. Dr. Newton's log. Having studied the subjects for the last week, they don't appear to be active or conscious all of the time. They seemingly have periods of slumber, but they don't lay down. It's almost as if they lay dormant. This goes against what we've learned or assumed so far. We expected, <laughs> I expected them to behave like they would have previously. We've given them comforts, 
they would hopefully recognize them, but it seems that they either don't remember or are completely disinterested. Another observation to note is that any prolonged exposure to them seems to trigger hallucinations or manifestations. I'm not sure which, but they do seem very real. I've ordered a further separation between the staff and the subjects, but this is something we'll need to study further to ascertain how close we can get to the <laughs> subjects you said ass. before any adverse effects start. Good luck, buddy. End Hope to make log. it. <laughs> he said log. <laughs> the poop kind of show. Forrest Dump and the Poo Angels. Where is door number... Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Uh, what is this picture? Looks like something right out of uh, Dark Souls. A mysterious painting. I'm not much of an art person, but there's something about this painting that's familiar. Well, uh, the number six, so the number six and the number eight is what we have found in the two paintings so far. What's familiar about this? They look kind of like fungus monsters. Maybe they're whatever things are called. Chloropads. E to interact. Can't touch this. Oh, don't touch me. This is uh, Dr. Waller. The date is the 5th of August, 1987. Doctor to doctor. I can no longer wholeheartedly support Dr. Hessler in his pursuits. Is this the like... experiments <laughs> seem to be causing significant <laughs> trauma <laughs> to the subjects. <laughs> that may be the best joke of the day. Is this what it's like to chew five gum? <laughs> that is the stupidest joke. <laughs> is this what it's like to chew five gum? <laughs> Four sets, yeah, whatever. Is this what it's like to chew they five gum? They seem to have worsened in God, all aspects funny. of what little they have. Is this what it's like to chew five gum? Ah, that was a good one. Where in the hell am I? Stupid books. Stupid. Dumb. Where's all these new jump scares we're supposed to be getting? And where's room number two? Where am I? And who are you? What is this? Why is this doorway bricked up? Why is there blood down here? Am I Kurt Russell in the movie Big Trouble in Little China? I don't know what's going on. Oh, here it is. Here's the satanic symbol I was this, supposed to find. This is Isla's stone. I've never seen one that big before. Frank never said anything about it being damaged. Looks like it's cracked the symbol too. Gives me thinking it'll be a straightforward heritage marking. It does look familiar. I think I'll need to do some research back at the university to identify this. need to do research back at the university. We've got professional monster hunters right here on the show. League of Blades. Pull out your blade phones and your blade computers now and type into the chat what that symbol means. What kind of demon or occult supernatural thing are we dealing with? Put it in the chat now. It could be uh, you could refer to your book of blades for the answer. You could phone a friend. I bet Kurt Russell had a bidet that's not, has anything to do with this symbol. Forceps, more reps, chloroform. Star of diamonds. That's actually a leprechaun. That's actually, you're fucked. Celtics, Jensen ankles. I don't need research. It means property of cult. Scotty's law, he's going to wipe to clean up that. Gravity, you think that means gravity? 6969. It's the stain in Scotty's under.
Hello, Michael. Arrow of Diamonds. What's up, Jack Blood? Good evening, Paul Gavin. Michael Mahan, thanks for liking my show. Death by Snoo Snoo. You think that means scissoring? It's not a pentagram. It's like somebody drew a star and a diamond on a note to a girl he likes. <laughs> That's Troy's official declaration. It looks like a triangle and another triangle. Scotty's tramp stamp. I don't have a tramp stamp. Batman. You think that looks like... <laughs> I am justice. Champagne Mercy, thank you for the 50 stars. It looks like Dignity. Kind of looks like the Eye of Sauron a little bit. Who shall ever build me an army worthy of Mordor? Cool. Uh, he said I need to go back to the university. I still got key number... We've not opened up door number two. Let's find door number two. What's behind door number two? Let's find out. Scotty runs with great haste. Is this door number... That's door number 11. Scotty Blades licks cats. Uh, if it's that kind of cat, then yes, I do. It's one of my favorite things to do. Door number two. Door number two. Oh, there's door number one. Okay. So they're numbered. Millhouse Van Hooten's dad. Looks like the cover for your next album on SoundCloud. What's love got to do? All right, we found the door. And there's, oh, there's a picture here. Ooh, that's the king, uh, the red king on the, whatever it's called, the throne. This is creeping me out. Is this the Red King? I swear I've seen something about him, and though I can't recall. You read a letter about it. Six. So we've got eight, six, six are the numbers so far. All right. Leave Hessler Storage. Don't mind if I do. I don't think we've opened every door yet. But we're gonna do what the game said today, we're gonna leave. Remove, you remove. Wait, there's a, there's a secret. There's a secret door we can open up to get some new stuff. Ah, whatever, let's get out of here. Squackums. Wait, what just happened? What happened to the lights? The lights went out. I could probably get them back on using that electrical unit I saw near the way in. Yeah, that'll probably do it. Let me grab this key. The temperature maintenance room key, okay? Are all the lights still off? maintenance key. You smell a jump scare? Me and you both. At least these four mannequins are still here. Is this the temperature control maintenance room? Stop searching me. Temperature control maintenance room. Oh. Here's the two guys giving themselves blowjobs. Hey guys. How's it going, buddy? Can't go that way. Whoa, whoa, whoa! We've unlocked that one. Is this the temp this is the generator room? We need the temperature control maintenance room. It's not one. <clears throat> Greg Zabukovic with the over the top 
heroic sign of generosity with the $20 super chat. Hey, finger bangs all around them eagles of justice, heroic calls for the heroic sign of support from Greg Zabukovic and from one freaking hero to another. Thanks for being my hero. Thanks for the $20 super chat. Big old, uh, big old boomstick salute from me to you. Thank you very much. Josh Farmer, Dalton Rodriguez, Sweet Pea, and Mel Goodhue. Thanks for liking my show. And Jason P. Cianci with the 100 stars on the big screen. Thanks for supporting my show. Jason with the 100 stars. And thank you, Greg. What is this? For the... What's that? What is it? Use the middle mouse button to focus. This is new. The Seal of Valak. What prick is drawing demon sigils on walls? It was fantastic, Timothy. The Seal of Valak. The Seal of Valak. What is the Seal of Valak? Was it was it X or K? Oh crap! Hello, Marlo. So this is pretty common. <laughs> is it Valak? Oh, with a K. He is a president, mighty and oh god. It's a uh, goetic sigil demon. Is the Nun movie a true story? So apparently this comes up in the movie The Nun. This comes up in the movie A Nun a bunch. Interesting. The Conjuring and the History of Valak. We're going to have to look that up later, but that's interesting. But there's the sign. It's an actual demon sign. Hmm. Is that Valak from John's Carpenter? I don't know. It comes up with the movie The Conjuring and The Nun a whole bunch, so I bet the, the nun must be Volick. Let's look into that. Matt Damon confirmed! Down. Shut up. It's creepy? Yeah, that felt weird typing it into my computer, but my computer's got the greatest firewall you've ever seen. Literally, it's just got a bunch of laptops all around it on fire. Where is the temperature control room? Already been in here, right? Yeah. Valak's not the name in real life, it's just the movies? Okay. I'll research that later and put something up in the League of Blaze Discord and the Facebook group. We gotta figure out who the demon Valak is. Where is the temperature control room? Hey guys. Temperature control room. I feel like it was down. Yeah, right here it is. This place could use a fresh coat of paint. Hey, I'll put in a good word for you, Josh. Sam Reiner, Amanda Webb, Jenny Rose, Christian Clem, Mel Goodhue, Timothy R. Montgomery. Isn't Balak the Nun's baby? Oh, is that what that is? In the movie, The Nun is. Okay. There's two keys hanging up here. We have room 11, and then we got the TV room key. Now we can watch TV. Nice. I tried to boom 911, but the boom wouldn't work. Here's some med, because we're going crazy. Some Kalazapan. Sorry, boss. I had a brick up. Did y'all hear that? The demon exclaimed as he stood over the back of Scotty while he read, waiting for him to turn around. Yeah. Sorry, boss, but I had to brick up the doorway leading to the second section of the floor. Kevin and Nick kept moving the mannequins from in there and putting them behind me while I wasn't looking. They said they only did it the first couple of times, but haven't done it since Thursday. I wouldn't have said it to shouldn't. I wouldn't have set so it shouldn't be too hard to bring it down. Okay, but I think I just need the week off, like we talked about. It's too creepy down here. All right, so this guy bricked up. 
guy bricked up the door leading out of the place. But something... Balak was a demon described in Goetic Grimoires. Yeah, it says something about Goetic. What is Goetic? You learn something new every day on the Scotty Blade Show. <laughs> if you can't get it all wiped up in five tries, just go to bed. Whoops. Jason P. continuing to support the show with the 50 stars. Thank you, Jason. For the 50. What does this mean? Look down, look up, look around. Whatever it is, it's not working. Got to find room 11 in the TV room. I know where the TV room is at, I think. Mannequins, room 11 doesn't fit. TV room. It's pointing at your dinghy. Nobody points at my dinghy. Goetic refers to black magic or necromancy. Oh, okay. Interesting. You guys are watching my favorite show. I forgot to install the glory hole. <laughs> Losers? Oh. Have you tried trying? You know, I try hard every day, Melvin. This guy pooped out of VHS. The most premium of all entertainment systems. <laughs> I was watching that! Why are you here? I was forced to come here. Are you here to set us free? Yes, let the mannequins rule the world. What a good tape. And we rewinded it. What a good tape. What a great tape. What a good what a good sermon. What a, yeah, that's good stuff. Thank you for sharing that with me, video game. Too bad it couldn't have been. You know what's really fun about VHSs? You know what was really fun about living in a small town and renting VHSs? You never knew what was going to be on the movie that you rented. Did you rent the movie The Land Before Time? 50-50 chance somebody recorded over it and there was going to be boobs in it. <laughs> Oh, I can't tell you how many times I saw boobs on VHSs because my friends would come to school and go, go to the store tonight, go to Video Connection, rent this movie. I recorded a Skin and Max movie on it the night before. Woo! Time for me to see boobies. David, if you're watching the show, thank you for helping me see boobies when I was like 11. You're the best. Now we need to find room number 11. Ah, ah, memories. Blow the mannequin. That's not how that works. You ran to Lord of the Rings, ended up with Backdoor Sluts 9. That's not even a real movie. Or is it? Here's room 11. Turned out to be Mom and Dad's whole movie. Oh, boy. I hope not. I have key number 11. Where the hell did key 11 go? Oh. Finger bangs in the chat for David. Thanks, David. Whoa. David, a true hero. Truly, David. David got me in a lot of trouble. I had some brand new Nike sneakers. Brand new $150 shoes. Because my mom always took good care of us to make sure. We didn't grow up with a lot of money, but my mom always made sure that I looked good in school. In school. I showed up at school with these brand new, like, $150 Nike shoes. I'm proud of them. But David had um, Chuck 
tailors that squeaked when he walked with them. And they were raggedy ass old shoes, but they squeaked. Mine didn't squeak, his squeaked. So we traded. And I got his old, nasty, stinky, squeaky shoes. He got my brand new $150 Nikes. Man, when I came home, holy crap. Did I get in trouble? Who hides a key with a mannequin? I don't know. Where are you looking at, stupid? I'm right here. Is he up there? <laughs> Nobody said that mannequins were smart. They're just effective. <laughs> oh, crap. I didn't lay these candles down. Mm, oh, boy. My precious. The equivalent of SpongeBob getting those squeaky boots. Oh, God. He missed. <laughs> Truly, you guys always say when something tries to take me out that they wanted to hug. He literally wanted to hug that time, but he didn't get me. Patsy Dunn, Robin Clark, Yogi, Salim, thanks for liking my show. Have you guys liked the show? Have you guys got your scares and smiles in so far? Have you shared the broadcast? Was that a marshmallow? Uh, I don't think so. I know marshmallows. Scotty's first dad shoes. Chuck Taylors aren't dad shoes. I guess. I don't wear Chuck Taylors. I don't ride motorcycles or whatever they're known for. Skateboarding. I'm not a poser. Is that why you wear New Balance shoes? Yeah, because I'm a dad. Creep me out. They're posing like they're going to be in some kind of Christian rock album. Hey, Pedro. Hammer. This will be useful to break down that wall. <laughs> Michael Crow, welcome to the League of Blades. Honor to have you. Champagne Mercy, Michael Mays Jr., Pedro Castillo, Greg Zabukovic. And Timothy R. Montgomery, thanks for liking my show and sharing it. Oh, boy. I don't ride Chuck Taylors. I don't ride a motorcycle. I don't. Have a good game. I'll try my best. This looks like something that you would just push a button. Activate generator. Activate generator. Activating. Pushing button. Activating generator. Generator is not activating. Okay. Free the mannequin? Nah, I think he's good right where he's at. That guy's new. No, he's not. I can't tell. For some reason... Big strong man, I did it. I need to get out of here. My only option is to find where that fucking elevator is. I need to try to get it working. I'll climb up this the is shaft. New. He said shaft. This is new. Okay, we have not explored any of this yet, so let's go left, right, left, right. What's up, Blood and Gore? What's your Twitch handle? Scotty Blades. Alan Dickinson, thanks for liking the show. There's that stupid, uh... They just want to play, ain't that the truth? There's that stupid brown eye sphincter pentagram thing. This may tell us more about it. At least I know now what I'm dealing with. This is real. Let's find out what it says. Demon. 
never imagined it possible I'd ever come across one. A fucking demon. Says here, the Seal of Solomon. In our studies, we have found the seal to be the only thing that successfully keep the kin at secured. But what in test we have also found that... Man, this English is really bad. But what in test we have also found that the seal only works in perpetuity. Perpetu... Perpet... Perpetuity. 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 Per perpetuity. Oh, perpetuity. Perpetuity. Only works in perpetuity if drawn on a elet stone. Something about the stone itself holds the seal's power. However, drawing the seal on anything else seems to have only make the sigil work once. Adding it to walls only works with the elet stone. Therefore, it would be best to draw the seal on a floor for the kin to walk over. So far, it doesn't seem to matter what we're dealing with. It simply works. Okay, whatever. That was dumb. How do I take drugs? I want drugs. Get out of my face, Hammer. I want drugs. Give me drugs. <laughs> Yummy. Yummy. Sound it up, babe. You got this. I'd like to see you fucking pronounce some hard-ass word live on television you've not seen in a long time. Hmm, this room's kind of nothing in it. Drugs are bad. <laughs> Nothing else here. Across the hall. It's Banksy? This is Banksy. I wish I had a flashlight. Spell the word Odor Rhino Odor Rhino Laryngologias. Odor Rhino Laryngologias. Odo Whatever. Take your big stupid words and <laughs> take your big stupid words and ride off into the sunset. Remember, kids, don't get angry if they bring you drugs on Halloween because drugs are expensive. That's true. They are expensive. That door there has seen some things. This room's seen some things. This chair's seen some things. My name is Dr. Avalash. I can't. And they're coming. I can't get them away from me. I tried escaping when I got. I tried to get away. They keep hearing me. One, two. They keep hearing me. That's it. That's it. That's it. With your arms now. That's it. They keep finding me. They keep finding me. Apparently they keep finding this guy. He'll be all right. I mean, obviously he didn't make it, but he'll be all right. Blair Witch, is that you? Y'all watch out. Jen's on one today. Jen said, and I quote, he recorded himself mid-orgasm. Weird flex, my guy. She's on one today. Y'all get ready. My guy. My boy. Hmm. This note will tell me what to do. Good night, Champagne. A note from Dean. I dropped the key for the lower floor two door. Lower floor two door. If anyone finds it, can you bring it back to the maintenance room? I don't fancy replacing the whole door. Looks like somebody, someone called Dean. Drop the key to the lower floor two door. Hopefully it's not too hard to find. Okay. So there's some stupid key here on the ground somewhere. Ow, oh, my face! My buddy. There's the... Oh my god, there's a demon in here. 
There's a freaking demon in here. The guy said in the note that we read that you guys probably didn't pay attention to because you're the League of Blades. He said that sign on ground is easier way to let the kin walk around. There be demons in this room. Take that, demons. You can't stop me. I'll kick you in the rubber nuts, my buddy. There's the elevator. But we're not alone. My buddy. I knew it. <laughs> Why won't you open? Doing? Tighter than a duck's ass. Hopefully there's another one on the next floor. Tighter than a duck's ass was my boy's quote. Tighter than a duck's ass. Boy, you knew it! Bring it on. Alright, now where the hell did that key go? Ah, dang it. SOB. I need drugs. Drugs are good. I didn't take the drugs. Take the drugs, please. There we go. There you go. Get choked on the drugs. Don't get killed because of the mannequins. Die because you're choking on drugs. How did the professor go? Oh, he choked on drugs. He what? Where the fuck's oh, the, yeah, the, he... the key? Where the fuck's 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 the key? <laughs> Available now on SoundCloud. Mackenzie Montero, Kamiko Prime, thanks for liking my show. Quack. Where the up's the key? Where the up's the key? Quack. Storage. Good lord, that door opened fast. Jump scare. Jump scare. Jump scare. Jump scare. Door locked. Uh, key laden. Giant chip hold. Key. Coin based. Mechanism key open. Door. 
Open. Huh? That's the elevator. Sexy times. Dead. Another key mechanism. Undo, boy. Secret door. Secret door go where? Secret door goes secret. Computer secret. Cool. Computer secret security room. Secret dial up phone. Secret call 911. Can't call 911. Not a not a thing. Not not even no. Secret Crandall. I blew it. Long dong slivers. Our fish taste like chicken. Go ahead. Scotty Blaze, professional monster slayer. Listen, I don't know who you are or what you are doing in Hessler Storage, but you need to get out now. Who the fuck is this? We do who not have time. Folk? Get to the ground floor and leave. I would if the doors are fucking locked. Oh shit. This guy cusses right, too um, much. Look, I don't have time to explain, but you have to get yourself to a safe room. There's one on the next floor down. Head to the storage room and get to the thing shaped like a giant coin. Ring the bell seven times and seven times only. I'll call you when you're in the safe room. Who the fuck was that guy? <laughs> four, 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 four. Okay, so what's seven times seven? He said call me seven and seven times. So seven times seven... Uh, what is seven times seven? Seven times seven. Seven times seven. Call him. Touch it seven. Seven. Uh, seven. So seven times five. Seven. Seven times six times five is thirty. Thirty-five is seven times five. Thirty-five. Plus seven times two is fourteen, so seven, so thirty-five plus fourteen, so five nine. She's so fine. Five four to nine, and then three plus one. The answer is forty-nine. The answer is forty-nine. Or as Ted put, sixty-nine. I'm surprised, Ted, that you didn't put a smile emoji behind that. Forty-nine. The answer is forty-nine. Now the answer is not boobs. It's forty-nine. I have now got the storage room key. Carry the one, 420. I lit the candle again. I did math. Whoops, I blew the candle out. No, I didn't. I blew that candle out. 369, damn girl, she fine. Ted Wilbert said the number 69. Get low, get low, get low. Good job, Scotty, you're awesome. My God, that's the most positive thing anyone's ever said to me before, Troy, thank you. 94, but the other way around. <laughs> you still technically said 69. Don't take the sodas. Oh, I won't. But I will like the candles. I'm getting horny all of a sudden. Stupid candle. You ever went to a bathroom before? To use said bathroom? And it's locked? And the other person walks up to open the bathroom door while you're in there and it's locked. So instead of touching the doorknob and realizing it's locked, they try to literally force their way in there as if there is no force on this earth that's going to stop that person from coming into that bathroom, whether it's occupied or not. I don't normally get mad, but if I take the time to lock the door in the bathroom that I'm using, and I hear you out there jiggling the door and putting your shoulder into it, trying to get it to open. What do you think's going to happen when you come into that bathroom and I'm standing there or taking a shit? I'm going to beat the shit out of you for invading my privacy. That's so dumb. I can't stand it. Not now. Turn the music off. I used to help out with special ed kids. I know the power of positive reinforcement. First day at Hessler Storage. 
They gave me this, uh, this dictaphone to record my daily reports. They also said I should probably start doing this as soon as possible. Kind of get into a rhythm, so here we go. My name is Argus Fisher, and I am the commander of the second internal security team here at Hessler Storage. Still not 100% sure what my duties are here. Uh, they were pretty ambiguous, but I do know that the pay is great and I'm pretty sure this is just a normal security job. My first task was to oversee the delivery of a bunch of custom mannequins. Let me tell you, when I say custom, I mean like you're not gonna find these in a normal store. They are completely movable. Every piece is movable all the way down to the fingers. It's definitely different. I, I have no idea what Dr. Hesser is using these for, um, but I really hope it doesn't get any weirder than this. It's a good thing I'm only here for like six more months. Then it's back to the States. I got enough money to start my own security firm. But yeah, I'm not sure how to end this, but end of vlog. Cool trick, bro. You get a poopy hug? No, no, you don't get a poopy hug. You definitely don't get a poopy hug. <laughs> no poopy hug. Cool trick, bro. Shane Dugan. Brian A. Creepy Paper. Thank you for liking my show. Hello, Igor. Good to see you in Boomtown. Hope you're doing well. Brandon Woods, thanks for liking the show. Mmm, look at these leather couches. Cool trick, bro. Water, water, water. Darkness? Okay, we gotta find the storage room, it said. I think I got the storage room key. Should I really be investigating anything else in this hard place? Yeah. Do do hand high fives? No. If I take the time to lock the door to the bathroom that I'm in, and you can't figure out with one jiggle that the door is locked because there's somebody in there, so you continue to jiggle the door, attempting to get in, it's gonna be really bad news when you get in there. Hey, champ. One jiggle should be all you need to know that the door is locked. Ooh, the symbol again. Ooh, the symbol again. Ooh. You know what? I'm going to ding this bell, and I'm going to get ambushed from behind. I'm ready for it. Bring it on! The game tricked me. Bring it on! Oh yeah, the thing said to hit this thing 49 times. 7 times 7. Nice. <laughs> 4. 5. Okay, this is for serious, chat. I'm not asking for a standard League of Blades answer. My life depends on this. Did I push that thing six times or seven? I think I pushed it six. But we'd better be sure. Because if I pushed it seven, and I'm getting ready to push this thing eight... We're going to have a bad time. I pushed it six. Six. It's super important that we do it six. 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 Okay. Because if this is eight, we are dead. Dead meat. Kick him in the growing. <laughs> Kick him in the growing. <laughs> you don't even know how close you come to catching these hands. Nice try. I'm Scotty Blades. It pays to be short. You stupid, tall, huge, jacked mannequin. <laughs> short and swole for the win, baby. Three coins to roll them. He dabbled you. 
He did. This must be what he was talking about. It, this must be what he told me about. Let's go take these coons and put them inside the thing. Give him a hug. Ah. I think he tried to Emperor Palpatine me without having the power of the Force. All of the dark side. Do it. Do it. Something, something, something. Dark side. All right. Good luck, Emperor Palpatine. Do it. Um. Do I not have those coins equipped? There they are. Activate! Hey, it didn't work. Activate! <laughs> Stupid game! That's fine. That's fine. I know where one of them is at. This place is far more sinister than anyone imagined. Cool! Hey, Robert. Cool! You can rewind and count. Man, I really appreciate that, Ted, but... You discovered ending four of four. Nice. Well, they got me with the mannequin, and then the weird slow motion witch vampire teeth chick at the end kind of spoiled it a little bit. But hey, there's a bunch of uh, unique random jump scares in this. This is a demo, by the way. There's a bunch of unique and crazy over the top jump scares in this game. There's four endings that you can get. So if you guys are interested in picking this thing up, it is free on Steam. So you can pick this up and play it for yourself if you want to. I really, really like this game a lot. Even on my second time through it, this was a lot of fun. A lot of new scares. That whole area at the end there was new. So uh, yeah, really cool. I like that. She wanted to give you an Appalachian BJ. Listen. One side of my wiener is already scabbed enough from my past Appalachian BJs. I don't need to reopen them sores. Mannequin, whatever I said that game was called. Mannequin Hessler Storage. All right. This game here is not free. I think it cost $4.99. But nothing costs too much when you're watching horror, mystery, magic, and mayhem, and monsters on the Scotty Blade Show. The electric bill? $179.99. The internet bill? $99.99. The games? $4.99. The memories that we make together here in the League of Blades? Priceless. Why'd you zoom in on me, Deck? Only a dream! I actually don't remember what the name of the game's called. What was it called again? It's the second game on the thing. Which I don't... Okay, yeah, whatever. I forget what it's called. Did we win? Oh, yeah. We won. GG's. You could call that a blow dry. Oh, no, it gets wet. The year is 1990. No, it's not. 2023. Did you make your Twitch? Yeah, I'm Scotty Blades on Twitch. Scotty Blades on every social media platform that you're interested in. The year is 1990. Three years ago, your parents got divorced after your mother was caught cheating. That'll get you. She left you and your father for her lover, as they do. I have been cheated on before. That's how it happened. Soon after, your father fell into depression. I feel you, buddy. Who watched The Last of Us? 10 out of 10. A month later, he disappeared, leaving you all alone. After some hard work, you renovated the apartment your father left you and were able to find a stable jab. Lisa L. Joe and Jason McGill, thanks for liking my show. So basically, my mom left my dad and I'm in an apartment now. Cool. Open sesame! 
Who would cheat on you? Oh, I've been cheated on a bunch of my life. I thought he's dry as hell. I need to drink some water before going back to bed. The thing about don't know what you got till it's gone, the grass is always greener on the other side until you go to the other side and you're like, boy, things were a lot better on this side of the fence. But sometimes when you jump over the fence, they reinforce the fence so that you can't get back over because you fucked up. Man, I walk like a moron, but we're gonna we're gonna finish this because this cost me four ninety nine. How do I get out of this place? Activate. Activate door. Activating. He says he's got to drink a glass of water, but I don't see any water. Walking with a limp. It's my huge giant wiener. Huge big giant wiener. How do I get out of this place? I can't. There's no door handle. You just push through the door with your face. Yeah. Not that one. I'm feeling sleepy, so I should drink some water and head back to bed. Abway bought a bread ash now. Bam, bread ash is cool. He's got a nice house. Good advice, Mr. Blade. That's right, Mackenzie. Ba -dum, ba -dum. Grass is always greener. But then there's, I mean, there's been songs. Elvis Presley and the Rolling Stones have been writing songs. Britney Spears. Writing songs about this crap for years. Don't know what you got till it's gone. That's more like it. I guess I should head back to bed now. Here I go. I parched my preloiner, and now I'm heading back to the land beyond time. The land of milk and honey. Sandman land. E. You're Billy Bob from Sling Blade. Uh-huh. I'm trying my best to go to sleep. Here we go. This looks familiar. I've not seen this asset. Whoa. This much for looking familiar, Steven. Wakey, wakey. Holy crap. What the fuck? Where am I? What is this place? Am, am, I, am I dreaming? You might not be dreaming. But you're definitely walking like you got a giant wang dang knocking your knees off. Let's see what this note here that's... Listen, if you ever come to find me, League of Blades, I am going to leave you a whole bunch of notes behind for you guys to be able to go, Oh, that's what happened to Scotty. Yoink. It's the 24th of April, 1987, as of writing this letter. I don't know what this place is. I woke up here not long ago. Frank Simmons. That's it. That's the note that you wrote. You wrote that note expecting somebody to find it. And you put, and I quote, the date... Where you're at in your name. Good note. Frank Hello, Simmons. Sarah. That's my father. Impossible. Oh. He went missing around three years ago. I take back everything that I just said. The character explained the note that I yelled at. I apologize on behalf of all of the Creed band impersonators. Scott Staff Infection signing out. You have to read them in British accent. You're only cool if you do. Sarah Jarvis supporting the show. Thank you very much, Sarah. What the hell? Thank you very much, Sarah, for the 50 stars. Why zoom? Zoom! <laughs> zoom! That's weird. Zoom! <laughs> what? Oh, I don't have unlimited stamina. Great. Best game idea. Daniel Rise. All rise. The judge has arrived. Daniel Rise. What's it say here? I took a fat shit over here in the corner. I'm your father. I feel like something is watching me from the dark. I'm pretty sure I'm alone in this cave. Oh, I'm pretty sure I'm not alone. Weird how I left that out. 
It is a requirement. Everything's sound. Either somebody dropped a piano, or I missed a jump scare. Either way, darn it. <laughs> Weep! I think I've missed a jump scare. Or somebody dropped. There's a very much higher probability. You jumped? <laughs> very much higher probability that somebody dropped a piano down here. Is Frank my father? My father. I read everything in Scotty Blade's accent. What accent is that, Michael? I don't have an accent. He'll... Okay, I can't go that way. I'm lost. The accent is southern. I don't have a southern accent. Thank you very much. Leave it to <laughs> to Scotty to die while whacking. Hey man. I've always wanted to go out by way of snoo snoo, so if whacking myself is how it's gotta be, then I'll whack myself till I see the pearly gates. I probably won't go to the pearly gates from whole whacking, be honest with you. Another note. I hope it's from my dad. I bet everything on the chargers and I lost four hundred dollars. Guess it's time for me to leave my kid behind and wander off into a mine somewhere. Something is down here with me. Something in Hugh man. It wants me dead. So Rob zombies down here? The small human is talking about I should hope it's dead. dead. No you don't want it to be dead. If it's dead, listen to what you're saying out loud there, my young precious man. If it's dead, it's probably a zombie, which is bad, because you didn't bring any weapons, and from the tone of your voice, you're a pussy. So, if it's a zombie, you're screwed. If it's a vampire, you're really screwed. I hope it's dead. If it's a skeleton, it might not have any muscles on it, you're still screwed. I hope it... Oh, 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 oh. Boo-hoo, ah, oh, boo-hoo. I hope it's dead, oh, boo-hoo. Dad, boo-hoo. Boo-hoo. Oh. Oh, boo-hoo. Fucking crap out of me. Boo-hoo. Let go. Boo-hoo, boo-hoo. Boo-hoo, whoa. Boo-hoo. <laughs> Got a trophy. Woo! <laughs> so, it looks like everybody's favorite exception monster, who every time that exception watches the same monster eat Ethan for the 900th time, he's always like, oh, 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 you've watched it 900 times, trust me. You're not surprised anymore. Looks like that baby has finally grown up. You've seen it. We've all seen it. The baby monster's grown up. Saving game? Oh, that's always good news. Flashlight? Yes. Grab it. Crit, pick it up. The yes! That's useful. Thanks for telling me out loud that a flashlight's useful. 10 out of 10, best writing in this game. I sound like Hank Hill. What does that mean? Its name is Fetonias. Fetonias. Yoink. I found an old flashlight. It still had some battery in it. I guess it'd be useful if I have to go through dark parts of the cave. Frank Simmons. Thanks, Frank. Frank the Tank. Oh yeah, the dark part of the caves that I died in earlier. That's right. <laughs> Damn it, Bobby! 
Ooh. Oh, is that, was that the noise I was doing? Was okay. Ooh. Narrow urethra. Peggy. I prefer Jeff. I prefer walking on sunshine. Whoa. And it sure feels good. I will break the game. And I will break my ankles. You did. I did. Come on, everybody. We're going streaking. You know what I miss? Did you say narrow urethra? I did. Oh. You know how comedians have dominated di different decades in our life? Like Jim Carrey owned the 90s. Will Ferrell owned the 2000s and a lot of the 2010s. There's not really a comedian up there that's pumping out movies that you're just like, I gotta see this. Like you, you had to go see the new Jim Carrey movie. You had to go see. Movie stars are dying. We're losing our movie stars. There is nobody short of The Rock that I say out loud. Oh man, the new Stallone movie's coming out. The new Will Ferrell movie's coming out. Oh man, the new Jim Carrey movie's coming out. I don't say that no more. I don't go. Oh man, the new Jake Gyllenhaal movie's coming out. I don't say that. Comedy in general's gone really cold. But yeah, there's nobody headlining comedy movies anymore. Oh man, the new such and such. Kevin Hart, he's trying, but I don't say out loud. I gotta go see the new Kevin Hart movie. Oh my god. I guess I'll get into it, given the long time ahead of me. Hollywood Tits, Kevin. I like Kevin Hart, but I just, he don't. To me, Kevin Hart didn't hit the levels of. Like Jim Carrey and Will Ferrell. But he did some good movies, though. He did a lot of bad movies, too, but that's also pretty comedic. I saw the creature. Its figure was that of a huge but skinny person, just like me. I think it was around seven foot tall. Not like me. The new Batman movie just came out. I gotta go watch the new Sky Blade sex tape. <laughs> I was able to <laughs> I was able to hide under an old blanket I found before it saw me. Okay, so I gotta hide this game too. Sammy Moore, thanks for liking the show. Terry Wilson, welcome. Thanks for liking my show. The new Batman movie did not just come out. The new Batman movie's been out for months. Logan Paul's been in a lot of drama recently. I don't I don't keep up with Logan Paul. I just know he's like scamming people or something, but I've not looked into it. Did I die again? I didn't die, but I'm about ready to Indiana Jones this thing. Engage! Slingshot engage! Do something, stupid! Are oh, you gonna give me a little push like Dad used to? Whee! Hey, Turner. Maybe this monster's on our side. He didn't try to kill us. Sylvester Stallone has a new show. He sure does. And it's very, very good. Very good. I forget what it's called. Because I'm thinking of Mayors of Kingstown. He just wants a hug. He didn't kill me, did he? Hello, Nick Powalski. What's up, buddy? A nice ride, nice slow ride. That's what they call my sex life. A nice slow ride. I'm back in my house again. It's a beautiful ride. Tulsa King, that's it. Beautiful ride. It's a great show. Holy crap. It's all a dream. King of Tulsa. Yeah, Tulsa King. It's a good show. I highly recommend it. Sylvester Stallone still got it. What is going on with this? I paid $4.99 for this game. Cool. Thank you very much, Chris French, for the 50 stars. Thanks for supporting my broadcast. Terry Wilson, Chris French, Nick, and Terry Walton. Thanks for liking the show. I've missed you. Where you been, Mackenzie? Don't ever leave me again. Uh-oh. No, no. No, fuck, no. 
You thought your cursor was my cursor? No. Nah. Just uh, another incoming 4.99 game rant. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Terry, thanks for the 100 stars. Thanks for supporting my show. Well. Ugh. I'd stay in here, man. Bonga, bonga, bonga. He don't do bad for his age. I've said this several times on record, and I'm going to say it again. When I'm 76 years old, I will get caught crossing the Mexican border with a copious amounts of steroids. You better believe it. Why would I allow myself to deteriorate when I can be Italian and jacked like Sylvester Stallone? Steroids make you Italian and jacked. I want to be Italian and jacked. I found some kind of minecart, given the fact that it is the only way out I got on. Man, the English today has been really rough. I found some kind of minecart, period. Given the fact that it was the only way out I got on, comma, hoping I can escape this madness, period. At first, I believed that I had found the exit, but sadly I was wrong. You take steroid donations, mean you both. True science fact. Steroids make you Italian and jacked. It also makes you mumble and have uh, gorgeous daughters. These are my daughters. They're all supermodels. Are you guys clipping me making fun of somebody else's English? <laughs> English. It gets all right. worse and worse, doesn't it? I'm part Italian and have a dead body. Uh, what's up, Evan? I didn't try to fall. The game forced me off. Italian note. Italian meatball note. Italian clothes. Okay. You got a dead? Oh, I like to get a dead. I like to push the game. Push the boundaries of the game. Because the game was pushing me. I wasn't moving. Steroids make you Italian Hugh Jackman. That's not that's not what I said. You guys make my dumb jokes even dumber, and I love you for it. Italians make you steroided Hugh Jackman. What's down there? Where's my flashlight? Mama, I'm coming home. Mama. Boom. Of course, my... Oh, shit dead body how's it going bone daddy uh, for some reason I'm getting shorter as I walk what is going on here this poor kid here played hide and seek but he wasn't very popular but he was very committed so In the end, it was Art that killed this kid, for he was not very popular, but he was very committed. Looks like he won. Yeah, he didn't win the game of life, but he did win the game of dedication. Teach me English, paper. There's no toilet paper. That's the real nightmare. Grab the note. I thought that I was the first one in this hellish place, but turns out I'm not, Frank Salmon. Why do you keep leaving your name? We know who's writing these notes. There you go. Stupid game. There. Why would you name that? Why would you put your name on that? I am just, <laughs> I am just wasting paper. Ben Baronfanger. God, I love that name. Thanks for liking my show. And Terry with the $6 super chat. Because you're an absolute superstar. Thank you so very much for supporting my broadcast. 
And thank you so much for the six dollar super chat on the YouTube. Appreciate that. Thank you very, very much. Very oh generous God. of you. I thought it was his dad. Oh no, it's not your dad. Put Frank on your list. Oh yeah, I was gonna say who's Frank. <laughs> I must said who's Frank. All right, good luck, Don or Robert. I love your stream, Frank Simmons. <laughs> Don't forget, folks, to like my sandwich. Productions tell me that the, the the correct line is actually, don't forget to like my stream. Hey, guys, thanks for liking my sandwich. Fall, Fallen four foot kills this kid. He'll never make it in the real world. I fall more than four foot every day. Frank Simmons. Y'all reach y'all leave your son a note. Hey, you little peckerhead. Don't fall more than four feet. You'll kill yourself. <laughs> I'm your father. This is where dad slept at night. On a cave cot. A cave cot. Jerrica Washington and Shayla Shade. Boomtown just got way hotter, and then Boomtown just got way scarier. Hello, Shayla. Once again, Ben Bear and Fanger. Love that name. Shayla Shade and Jerrica Washington, thanks for liking my show. Let me read this note, and hopefully the backdoor baby demon won't jiggle or whatever. Here we go. It's strange. The tunnels lead to places of my home. It seems impossible, but it's true. One moment I'm in my living room, the other I'm in a tunnel. However, I have found a potential exit of this place. I'll check it out the next day or night. I'm unsure <laughs> what time it is. Your pal, your boy, love, Frank Simmons. Frank Simmons just wants to be on your Christmas card list. I think I'll take a cave cot nap. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Wee! Wee, come on, wee, come on, wee, wee. You're ignorant, oh, you're ignorant, wee. Blanket. Okay, that's dark, and I don't have a flashlight yet. So we're not going to go that way, because the last time I tried that, I died. Oh, look. <laughs> a flashlight. Activating flashlight vision. Flashlight. I hope we get to give this one this time. Uh, 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 I thought the flashlight. Oh, I hope I get to keep this flashlight this time. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Algebra, geometrics, ow, ow, ow. calculus, uh, Rubik's cube. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Ah! I'm stuck. Bring it on, demon! When you can't run, you turn and fight. Am I right? But we tried to run. We tried. We tried. Don't jump too high, Scotty. It's dangerous. Scotty likes to live dangerous. My middle name is Danger. Scotty Hyman Danger. Uh, Julep. Dandelion Blades. Wee! No ends! I was so happy to see Brandon Frazier won a Critics Award last night. You mean to tell me that... That Sunday night last night had playoff football, The Last of Us, and the Critics' Choice Awards all in one night. What jack wagon in Hollywood thought it'd be a good idea to schedule all of that stuff on the same day? Wee! A Rubik's Cube like the sandwich? A Rubens Cube? No. No, not a Rubens Cube. <laughs> Man, you can't beat a good Reuben. 
Scotty Jebediah Dangerous Blades. Yes. Yeah, all in one day. Did you just say WTF, Robert? You're cool. You're hip. Need some kind of key? I'll have to go back and look for one. Should have had that fifth serving of chili. My ass hurts. <laughs> All right, I'm starting to think that this giant long lip, wizard sleeve looking monster may be my dad because he was just sitting on this couch with his feet kicked up. I've fought a lot of monsters in my life, faced off against a lot of demons and a lot of supernatural creatures. I've never had one just sit leisurely on a couch with his feet kicked up. I believe we may be dealing with, you guessed it, Frank Simmons. <laughs> The very Frank Simmons, who's been leaving all these stupid notes behind. Oh, look, a, a giant key. With this key, I will kill my father. Oh, no! The fridge and TV are gone. We've been robbed, Frank Simmons. And the milk, like the carton of milk's empty. Oh crap, somebody drank all of our milk, Frank Simmons. <laughs> half the yard got mowed. Oh man, somebody forgot to mow the other half of our yard, Frank Simmons. Ooh. I forgot to unlock the door first before I ran through it head on. Ah! The Jawana wine mixer. All right, Dr. Steve Brule, spell the word ham. Ham. H. Letter of A. See, a match was on there. As much as I dislike heights, it's the only way to go. S S S S P P P P P. This game's stupid. I don't see a mattress down there. Anyway, let's believe in this kid. Draw him up! Okay. I have, uh, I've jumped a lot of distances in my life. I've never known a mattress to be able to... Okay. Amy Murphy! Thanks for liking the show. Forget Confucius, we have Frank Simmons. I forgot the Capri Suns, Frank Simmons. Hey, I left this conveniently placed mattress to cushion your fall, Frank Simmons. Hey, man, could you pass the butter? Frank Simmons. Sure. Be careful not to fall. Don't see any matches at the bottom this time. <laughs> ah, British people! I've got to be careful not to fall from the British this time because there's no people here. We There's no British. Karate. 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 I'm out of breath. That's what happened last time. I ran out of breath. Karate. Can you pass the lube? Frank <laughs> Why am I sharing lube with my father, Thad Boatwright? Can you pass the lube? Frank Simmons. The game glitched on me. You saw it. That's right, Blake. You, the game glitched on me. You watched it. The game glitched on me. That wasn't my fault. Five in the game. No, I don't take the the beating for this one. The game glitched mid jump. You saw it. Frank Simmons saw it. He wrote a note. Hey man, good luck with parkour, Frank Simmons. 
Can you point in the direction of the nearest boobs? Frank Simmons. Shit. 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 We're all right. Okay. Now, how do I get... Oh, that way. Whoa! Shit. Shit. This way. Cat Freeman, thanks for liking my show. Uh, I've been doing good so far. Don't blow it now. Where is the other set of stairs? Oh, right here. Maybe? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This will probably kill me, but we're going to go for it. Please? gonna kill me but we're going for it please <laughs> then i die immediately oh. steven i did the exact same thing that you said to do and the game hoodooed me you can't point that against me oliver clay thanks for following the league of blades good to have you out there in the audience Arp. You can't blame me on that one, Steve. Steve! Where in the world am I supposed to go after this point? Gravity strikes again? No. Bring the mattress with you? I can't fall on that beam, so what am I supposed to do? This game costs $5. Should I just try to make this jump? Ah, uh, shit! Where there's a bumble, there's a way. That's right. Y'all ever seen a main character get tired while falling? Alright, see you, Heather. I have never seen a main character die while, or get tired while falling. What in the crap? I'm still falling! Oh, come on! Go up, go up. Okay. I will go up this time. Of course. <laughs> I can't help it. It's it's way out of my uh, wheelhouse here. Millhouse, wheelhouse. Hmm. Go up and not down. Go up. This way. It was a monster mash. Take your right upstairs. Do the match. The monster mash. The monster mash. The monster mash. Help. Balance on the beam. I just tried. And I slipped straight into the wall. So I tried the beam and I, I beamed straight into the wall. Yeah, it's rigged. This game is rigged. Uh, 
Okay. Now that I know I can do that, that was nice. Hmm. Right here, maybe? You can watch. Hey, Jamie. Hmm. Well, this is dumb. Okay. Some beams you can walk across and some you can't. Which is dumb. Please, for the love of my giant, mighty, coffee-smelling beans. I did it. I did it. I did it. And you can't take that away from me. I did it. I did it. Yeah, he did it, mamacito. I found another bed to jump up and down. Yeah, I did it. You did it. This place becomes more bizarre the deeper you go. I found this maze-like structure a bit deeper in the tunnel. I'll try my luck to find an exit to the maze and draw a map, but that's after I wake up. Frank Simmons. Seven and one, huh? The maze, really. How original. Yeah, we did it. What? Oh, this is a maze. Aw, oh, crap. Great. Here we go again, doing my favorite thing in the world, but you know what? I will get it this time. My first try. Oh, shit. I wasn't even playing the, I wasn't even playing the game. I will get this. My first try. Why? Because there's no challenge too big. No obstacle. Too engorged. No beans. Hey, stinky! No beam. Oh. I have played Dark Souls. And beat it. I have killed over 60 Elden Ring bosses in one three-hour show. I was the nine million rune man. I completed a challenge of a knife-only run on Resident Evil that only 1% of the world has done. I completed every single Cuphead boss challenge. I laugh in the face of darkness. I laugh at these tiny beams. I laugh at the concept of my failure. One for the money, two for the show, three don't break my ankles, four let's go. Nice. Nice. I don't see anywhere else that I need to go. I guess this is the place, don't you know? Hey, Stinky! Son of a bitch! It's only game. Why do you have to be mad? Thank you, John. Sh Sh oh, <laughs> Davis. What's the most dangerous thing about Steven Siegel? His cholesterol level. Does he have bad cholesterol? 
Thank y'all for all the blurps. On the YouTube. Where am I supposed to go? If this is not the way, don't you know? Huh. Up here, maybe? Down to that one? Because the game says it wasn't here. Has to be here. Hmm. He's stinky. Not another keyboard? Ugh, again, let me just make sure that I'm on record for the 50th time. I went to the dollar store. And I saw keyboards on sale for like three bucks. And these are the kind of keyboards that when you take them out of the package, they're already missing keys. A lot of the keys don't work. They're just jokes, man. They're like $2 jokes. So I bought some of these keyboards knowing that there would be a moment where I would have a moment to do one of my famous Scotty Blades fake rage rants. I had a moment to rage. I raged. And it was a funny moment that I thought a keyboard would be funny. So I went and got the keyboard, and I smashed it. It's okay. No big deal. This game was $4. And the parkour in this game kills you. This looks like the only location that I can go. I have no freaking idea where I'm supposed to... I mean, this is... This makes sense where I would come off at. Oh, God. This game sucks. I am stuck. I am stuck. I am stuck. I am stuck. I cannot move. I am stuck. I don't get it. <sighs> when you get quiet, looks like the game is paused, so you move your eyes a little bit. <laughs> I don't get it. It looked like we had it that time. Hey, how's it going? Oh, you know. Hmm. 
You missed the meme? I didn't miss the beam. The game pushed me off the beam. <laughs> the beam. Can you name the top three games that's frustrated you? Silent Hill, Silent Hill, and Silent Hill. Hmm. Hmm. Is there a beam down there? There's a beam right here. Come on. Come on, baby. Trim spa. Ah! Code Veronica. The more that I play Code Veronica, the more that I like it. Code Veronica's not too bad. Roll that warm beam footage. All right. You're out of coffee. Isn't that wonderful? Out of coffee? What a time to run out. And why run out? Now there's a new giant size Instant Maxwell House. A really big jar of coffee. New giant size Instant Maxwell House gives you cups and cups and cups. Dozens of extra cups of the coffee with that warm bean flavor. Warm bean flavor because it's made from coffee beans still warm from roasting. That's why new Instant Maxwell House is the freshest tasting coffee yet. So to make sure you've always got plenty of coffee for the man in your house, get the new giant size Instant Maxwell House. You won't have to run out again. There you go, warm bean footage. <sighs> I'm going to try this one more time, and then I'm out, because this game, the parkour sucks. The game requires you to parkour to go through it, and yet, when you parkour, you die. Which, uh, is stupid. This game was worth $4. For some, now, this would make you, you would think that this is the right beam because this beam, when you fall on it, it doesn't kill you. This beam does not kill you when you fall on it. So you would think this is the right beam. Maybe if I squat, I'm closer to the ground. That was stupid. That was dumb, dumb, stupid, dumb, 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 dumb. Five. Scott Carlson, thanks for liking the show. Five, eight, dumb, dumb. GG's. Five, five, eight. So the way we were going was right every single time. We just didn't jump far enough. I don't know. We just didn't jump far enough the direction they wanted us to, which is stupid. You shouldn't put fall damage in a game where you gotta fucking parkour through the stupid thing. Anyway, <laughs> here's Wonderwall. Beef Jerky Man's here. 8-5 Cement Wall. I think your character is medically fragile. I think my character is medically fragile? Fragile. <laughs> Fragile. 
So maybe five is the first number. Five. The number of eight. What the deck? Dudes walk around like Forrest Gump with two braces on his legs. <laughs> Don't hold back now, Dylan. Forrest Dump. Uh. Hmm. The search for Jet A continues. Jet A! They want me to get a bidet, Jet A! This game was four dollars. Bong, bong, and it got good reviews. Oh, I'm gonna give it a review, all right. I'm gonna give it a review. Six. <laughs> Six is the number I'd have gave it if you would have let me see the stupid jump scares that you're trying to offer. But it gets a two. Because all your jump scares are just static monster animations. That's not scary. But the graphics! Oh yeah, it's got great graphics! Oh, man, it's got great, it's a pretty game! It's got great graphics! Five, eight, six, seven. What is a little toe doing in the mine shaft? It, it looks like take some kind of code. I I remember seeing some numbers on the wall. Price sixty nine sixty nine four dollars. Jeremy Clark, thanks for liking the show. We doing back here. Chris Beat, Niam Group Beach, Jeremy Clark, Matthew Ziccarilla. Thanks for liking the show. Is it not five eight six seven?
Oh, I've already been... Alright, I got it. Erica, thanks for liking the show. Lemmy Winks. Lemmy Winks. Lemmy Winks. Le, le, Lemmy Winks. Lemmy Winks. Lemmy Winks. Money Santos, thanks for the like. This game is meh. This game is very meh. But you know what? We never, ever not complete a monster hunting adventure. Unless you count the last, like, eight games I, I have quit out of rage. Those don't count. We have to beat this game, it was four dollars. I'm gonna beat this game in spite of the developer, and I'm gonna leave him a nice review. Like, I love having a stamina bar. And I love having damage that you take from playing, you know, their parkour is necessary to beat the game, but you get damage from falling too far. Good game. You have to fall to parkour, but if you don't fall on a certain part of the plank, then you die. Good game. Sorry my show is boring, but I'm trying to make it entertaining. Did we win? What the fuck? I love that noise. You're, keep it coming, developer. You're killing it. I, I can't feel my pussy. Not your pooty. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. Subject number 23 has escaped the dream reel. Begin emergency protocol 172 in 3, 2, 1. Preparing General Anastasia. Injecting <laughs> General Anastasia. <laughs> General. Subject number 23 is under control. Going into sleep mode. Ah, <laughs> genital. Let me be very clear. This person is already better than me because they can make games and I can't. But as somebody that's been on over 1,000 indie horror game adventures, that is one of the worst indie games I have ever played. Really bad. And it costs money, which is worse. So, one out of ten. Highly don't recommend. But with that being said, the person already is way better than me because I can't even make video games. But as somebody who plays video games for a living, that game sucked. And I hated it. And I will not be playing the next one. Here we go. 
This is a uh, a secret game. Uh, if you guys are fans of Courage the Cowardly Dog, this is a game that I didn't tell anybody about. But basically, since Facebook didn't show us to a lot of people today, this is going to be a little secret hidden gem for those of you that did get the notification and made it to the show. This is a cursed PlayStation 1 game that never made the light of day. Called Courage the Video Game. How many fans of Courage the Cowardly Dog do we have in the audience? Whoops. I'm trying to move me, you stupid. There you go. Stupid dog! <laughs> yeah, so this is a cursed PlayStation 1 game called. Uh, it's not. It, it was never finished. So I have no idea how this is going to play. It never made it off the production floor. You're a Courage fan? Drinking chai tea? So cool. Yeah. So this is a Courage the Cowardly Dog PS1 game. Return the plaque or suffer my curse. Yeah. And I, I have no idea how this game plays. No, no clue. But here's the living room. You love Miriam? The show about animal abuse. It's not animal abuse, you stupid Terry Wilson. <laughs> stupid dog! You're making me look bad. Up the stairs. I wonder how many enemies the graphic... I said it's a PS1 game, but didn't make it. <sighs> Just enjoy the nostalgia. God! Booga, booga, booga. It did release unfinished, but didn't make it far because of the adult content. Well, thanks for correcting me, Dylan. Anybody else? Wee! Well, actually, Scotty. Ah! Ah. It's a demo disc. Jack Brill, Philip Weed, thanks for liking my show. Is this Courage the Cowardly Mortuary Assistant? This game's based on a true story? What turned the house red? Huh. I don't know if it's be copyrighted or not, so I have the audio turned down. Uh, what's up, guy? Big giant floating hit. Show me what you got. Chat Porter, thanks for liking the show. We still love you. Oh yeah, okay. Sorry about that. Sorry, I made a mistake. Find them. Find what? Had 12 demo games for them on the PlayStation. I did say that they weren't finished. Courage. I don't know where I ended up at, though. Just 
So a bunch of chairs just lined up in a big giant pentagram. Nah, it's fine. Maybe we gotta fill all the chairs. There's a dead end. Huh. Okay, the guy said to find them. There's a bunch of chairs lined up that are empty. Hmm. Maybe I didn't click on the right chair. Good game. Good game. There's nothing here. When I said unfinished, literally there's nothing to do. We checked every single chair. Huh. Well, a lot going on in this game. Too many empty folders. Why? Because I like for to give people stuff to get onto me about. <laughs> We try moving the things on the floor. Try moving them. I don't know what the commands are. Whoa. The star isn't starry. I don't know what this does other than put me in first person. Hmm. Huh. We'll try to move the chairs. Maybe there's a clue to the controls in the read me. Read me. Uh, says here. When you find a dead end, just erase time. Okay. Just erase time. That's all you have to do. Schmid. If you find a dead end, just erase time. I don't know what that means. Erase time. Yeah, I got nothing either. Adam Young, thanks for liking the show. The floor gives you a tip. Floor gives you a tip. Start over from the house.
Your birds in one corner. Normally, when you push that, it does something. Oh, Kurt's Carly Dog used to had a lot of scary stuff with it. Check the chairs and the star pattern. Okay. I clicked on every single chair and nothing happened. We'll try it again. Find them. You got it. Okay, so this question mark doesn't tell us anything. The show itself barely made any sense. That's true. Very true. I keep hearing birds over here. They make noise when you're wrong. They don't make noise when you're right. Okay. So you think it's a, like a. Hop on the chairs. <laughs> oh, so that one did something. Dang it. Well, I uh, I got a message and I got to jump off here. So we'll uh, we'll continue this. Maybe maybe we'll get back into Curse of Cowardly Dog tomorrow. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Sorry, I got to I got to bounce out. I got a message. I got to I got to roll. Been a lot of fun today though. Glad you guys got to hang out with us here on the Motivated Monday edition. We did play one good scary horror game today. Uh, and that one was called Mannequins. And then we played another scary horror game that was really bad, and it was called Only a Dream. Then we wrapped up with Curse the Cowardly Dog, and there's more to this hidden horror game than we were expecting. So uh, we will probably, well not probably, we will no doubt go back to playing some more of Curse the Cowardly Dog. Probably tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon, folks. Love you big time. Catch you all on the next one. I'll see you either in Discord or in League of Blades Facebook group. Goodbye, everybody.